Okay, yeah, let's work with the wind. Work that hurricane. Model-turned-photographer Mike Ruiz is well-known for his surreal and fantasy-driven celebrity and fashion photography. This Montreal native, New York City-based pro has photographed Hollywood's hottest, everyone from Lindsay Lohan and Kelly Clarkson to the Jonas Brothers and Zac Efron. More recently, however, Mike Ruiz joined me and international supermodel Yasmin Marsame as one of the judges on Canada's Next Top Model, Cycle 3. Hi, ladies. Good luck to you all. We're at the uh, Soho Metropolitan Hotel in downtown Toronto. I got to tell you, this guy is like the bomb. Uh, you know, I thought, okay, Mike Ruiz, I know he's a great, brilliant, you know, iconic photographer, but is he going to be able to be a judge and you just like whoosh, fit right in? Who's more judgmental than I am? <laughs> you were totally channeling the bobcat energy in this picture. Yes. I, I would have expected you to walk in this room with a little more style and a little more flair. And I, I just feel like your outfit might not be the best presentation for this environment. What ultimately makes a great model for you? Because you work with such a you know, multitude of celebrities and models. What makes a great subject for your lens? Um, a great subject comes from within. No matter how beautiful a girl is, you know, if they, if they lack some kind of spark, you know, it's an innate thing and it's, it's hard to articulate, but you know it when you see it. Ruiz is a self-described late bloomer who didn't pick up the camera until he was almost 30. But his vast experience in front of the lens, modeling from the age of 17 on, was instrumental in shaping not only his judging style, but his own unique approach to photography. And look at me, Philippe. Beautiful. I was barked at a lot of times by photographers and, you know, people who couldn't relate to me on a human level. Mm -hmm. you know, I, I became an inanimate object and like I, I have that understanding and I know people don't respond to that. You know, dogs don't respond to it and nor do people. All right, we got it, thank you. All right. The most valuable thing I got out of it was just how to treat people, you know, how to treat models and how to respect them. It's hard to imagine now, but Ruiz was actually a chubby little kid who was bullied in the schoolyard. From an early age, he set out to change his life circumstances and make his dream of working in the entertainment field come true. You know, my parents were very blue collar and we never, you know, they never brought me to museums or we never traveled. And, you know, and I knew that I had this wanderlust in me because I remember being five and six years old and looking at my environment and thinking, oh, my God, when can I get the hell out of here? I always knew, you know, from a very early age that that, you know, something bigger was waiting for me. I wanted to be a model since I was nine years old. I am emotional because I'm so passionate about Can this. I interrupt? I'm a little emotional, too. Je vois ici que tu viens de Rapantini. Oui. Moi aussi. <gasps> We're from the same obscure little suburb of Montreal. Repampan Beach? Well, ben oui, oh, la Marina. Oh, oh, they call in the bins. Wow. I used to have these very vivid dreams <laughs> of, of being in the entertainment industry and like all of my friends were entertainers and you know, Brooke Shields was always at my house to look at slumber parties and stuff. We'd paint each other's nails. Although Ruiz's fantasy of hanging out with Brooke Shields hasn't yet come true, he has achieved much success in the entertainment industry. In addition to being a judge on Canada's Next Top Model, Ruiz has directed music videos for such artists as Tracy Lords and was featured on several reality shows, including Kathy Griffin's My Life on the D-List. My photographer, Mike Ruiz, is a genius. He made me look 15 years old like a Romanian runaway model. There's nothing this man can't do. He also made a feature film directorial debut in 2007 with Star Booties, starring RuPaul. Do you think a black belt would go with this outfit? People who have influence through fashion, through music, through art, that's kind of, you know, what, what attracts me to want to shoot and want to create something with people. It's a, it's a collaboration, basically. This is perfect. I mean, everything's great about this one. Your, your stance, you know, you're holding them back. You look fierce. You know, I stop every once in a while and I kind of pinch myself, you know, and I look around, I'm like, wow, how did I, you know, how did I, I'm so happy this panned out because it's either, either this or, you know, disparaging life in porn. <laughs> Sponsored by A.
Okay, sexy. Beautiful. I um, got a camera for Christmas about 15 years ago and became immediately obsessed and was shooting everything in sight and taught myself everything there was to know about photography and the rest is history. Okay, and then food, look at me. Beautiful. I try to make everyone look like what they would imagine themselves to look like in their highest fantasy. I'm a huge fan of Mike's photography. Um, he's a, an incredible inspiration to us. He believes in beauty and so do we. Yeah.